Shumai, today I am here in the Eastern Brecon Beacons and I've headed towards the Black Mountains, that's plural not singular, head for a hike up Wanfach or the Dragon's Back. Now this is a seven mile loop which involves around 600 meters of elevation gain. It's an area I've not really explored before and it's what I'm looking forward to doing so. It's an absolutely crisp winter morning here, sun's just risen, had some beautiful colours while driving through the Cray Reservoir. Just drunk my coffee and I'm about to start the hike. Now it begins from a small car park off the main road. It's called the Dragon's Back Car Park, aptly named. It's two pound for all day parking and there's an honest, honesty box to pay on arrival. From there, as you can see, it's quite small. Stay on this side of the road and there's a footpath that leads you onto the start of the trail. I'm here with Laszlo. Laszlo! So let's get cracking. So I'm a little under 25 minutes, half a mile into my walk, and I've re reached the first location, which is Dinas Castle Brand. Now the initial start of the walk was a very steep plod up through a couple of farmers' fields, but then you find yourself on this magnificent Iron Age hill fort, which has then turned into a Norman hill fort. As you can see, there's not very much left of the castle. However, when it was here, it was the highest castle in England and Wales at 450 meters. Some absolutely stunning views. Over to Minas Troyad, over there. And if you look behind me, you've got the dragon's back leading up to Wanfach. Absolutely stunning. I'm gonna stick the drone up and carry on trekking up the dragon's back towards Wanfach. Now, I'm about two thirds of the way up the dragon's back and so far, so good. It's an absolutely gorgeous day. Bluebird sky, stunning views. And the hike, although pretty steep, isn't that technical. It's pretty easy to follow path and that goes straight up the spine of the dragon's back. Now the Eastern Brecon Beacons isn't somewhere I come often. I often go to the Central Brecon Beacons, to Penavan, which you can see in the distance, or the Western Brecon Beacons, the Carmarthen Chafans. But, Boy, have I been missing out. The views here are absolutely insane. I'll definitely be coming back, that's for sure. Go on, boy. Now, once you come up and over the undulating Dragon's Back Ridge, there are some steep grassy sections towards the end. You'll come onto a flat plain with a path that leads directly to Wanfach. And you might even see some wild horses. Absolutely stunning, but the views, unbelievable. You've got the central beacons back that way. Absolutely stunning. And just over this ridge is Lord Hereford's Knob. Possibly the favorite name of a, of a mountain ever. Now, this is the first time I've vlogged with Laszlo. I'm not gonna lie, it's had a few difficulties. I've had to clean and jerk him over a couple of styles. And he spent 20 minutes chasing sheep, uh, and then I was chasing him, so I'm absolutely knackered. But yeah, as you can see, the path, nice and flat, leads up to the summit to Wanfach. Stunning. Onwards we push. So I've made it up to the summit of Wanfach. It's not really a summit, more of a quite a wide plateau with a big flat rock to mark the top. Now, although it's a big plateau, the views are pretty magnificent. 
Directly behind me, you've got the central beacons. Absolutely stunning. Spin it around in the distance. You've got the sugar loaf. And slightly over there, you've got Penagaric Val, which is only 11 meters shorter. At 811 meters, Wild Fark is the second highest peak in the Brecon Beacons, behind the twin peaks of Corn D and Penavan, which sit at 880 meters. But the views are absolutely stunning. And just over the other side of the plateau is the border between England and Wales. So the Eastern Brecon Beacon straddles three counties, Powys, Herefordshire, and Monmouthshire. And boy, like I just said earlier, I'd be missing out not coming here. Unbelievable views. And today, you can see for miles. Absolutely stunning. So I've just had a really interesting conversation with some people from the National Trust. They're up here working on the land just off the summit of Warren Fark. So if you can see, all this land is fire damaged. There was a big fire in 1976, which raged for several months, I think. Uh, and what it did, it burnt the top layer of vegetation. And that meant the peat bog underneath, the CO2, which it captures, is being released into the atmosphere. So their job, is to over the next three months to rebuild the ground and try and get a top layer of soil again and vegetation to try and keep that co2 back in the ground and stop it going into the atmosphere really interesting stuff so they're going to be here for three months trying to tackle this burnt out ground really really interesting you learn something new every day anyway i'm on the descent pushing down got the central beacons in front of me back to the car we go Right, I am back at the car after completing my hike. Uh, in total, it took me around just over four and a half hours. It was around just over seven miles and about 850 meters of elevation gain. Uh, you can probably do it a lot quicker than I did. I was faffing around with the cameras and I spent 20 minutes chasing the dog. All in all, it's not a difficult hike. Uh, there are some steep grassy sections which people may find a little bit taxing, but in terms of the terrain, and the technical side of it, it's not at all technical. It's quite easy to follow, especially if you go up the Dragon's Back and once you hit the plateau, the paths are really wide and really clear. Definitely recommend this hike. Uh, I tackled it in a clockwise direction, but because it's a loop, you can do it both ways. I will say the last mile and a half was pretty uninspiring. You're going through some narrow lanes, very muddy, past some farmer's field, and you're on the road for quite a bit. So you could definitely tackle this in an anti-clockwise direction if you did fancy that. All in all, like I said, thoroughly recommend it, especially if you are crossing the border from England. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and uh, check me out on Instagram uh, for a lot more content. Diokon thank you very much.